Hello, welcome to Mr. C's Game Strategies. I'm your host, Mr. C, and today we're going to be playing one of my favorite board games of all time, Clue. But before we get into it, uh, first of all, I really want to send a big thank you to our subscriber. Uh, your support really means a lot to me. For everyone else out there, if you want to learn more about basic card game and board game strategies, please subscribe to my channel and hit, and hit the notification bell. Also, please click on the link on the top right corner of your screen to see a playlist of card game, card game strategy videos. There's going to be a little bit of a longer video, as we'll play an entire game. Uh, we'll recap the general points of strategy at the end, but I encourage you to watch the whole video just to see uh, how these strategies are applied. So let's get into it. I'm going to play single player. And I'm going to play as Mr. Green. And I'm going to set myself up against uh, medium level opponents. Just to show you that these strategies will work you know, against average players. Uh, assuming that you're not going to be playing the world championship or anything like that. Uh, these strategies uh, should work. I I feel that the most important uh, thing in Clue is to get as much information as possible, not only from uh, your guesses, but from the guesses that other players make. So here we have the three cards going into the, into the envelope and the rest of the cards being distributed. And I get to go first. Now the mobile app is uh, very good for note taking, um, so it'll highlight the rooms that I have a choice of going to. Um, on the first turn, well, it could be any turn. Uh, corner rooms are generally a good uh, pla place to go to, uh, simply because you're guaranteed to be able to make a guess on the next turn, uh, as you will be able to take the secret passage to another room. So. I think I will just go to the lounge. And on the first term, turn, it's uh, you know just kind of a shot in the dark here. So I'm going. I'm going to say Miss Scarlet with the revolver. And Mrs. Peacock has a card. And it's the revolver. So you'll see that the uh, that the app uh, automatically marks a green check mark for the revolver in Miss Peacock's column, and then red X's uh, across the rest of the row. And Mrs. Peacock is going to the billiard room. Dr. Orchid with the wrench in the billiard room and Professor Plum shows a card. Okay, so here is where I'm going to use the uh, uh, the numbers in the, in the note-taking system here to indicate that Professor Plum has either the Dr. Orchid card, only well, he doesn't have the wrench, or the billiard room. The reason I do this is so that if on another turn I find out that Professor Plum does not have the billiard, billiard room card, then by logical extension he must have the Dr. Orchid card. But this is just, that's just a good way of keeping track of that uh, information for later on. Miss Scarlet, Candlestick, Study, and Colonel Mustard show the card. So once again, I will mark this with ones in Colonel Mustard's column.
And Colonel Mustard's turn. And he's guessing Dr. Orchid with the rope in the ballroom. And Dr. Orchid has a card. So once again, I will mark this with ones. And Dr. Orchid's turn. And she's going to the dining room. Plum Ranch Dining Room. Okay, now uh, I have to show Dr. Orchid a card. Um, this doesn't really imply in this situation, but uh, it is a general point of strategy that I want to make. Um, if uh, I have to choose between two different cards that I have to show an opponent, um, I will always show uh, a weapon first, a suspect second, and a room third. The reason for that is uh, I want to force that opponent to return to that room to see the room card, if at all possible. Um, and I also like to show a weapon before showing a suspect because you have to remember that people actually get dragged into the room and sometimes they might get dragged into a room that they don't want to be in. So the more that they get dragged around before I have to show that person card, well, the better as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to show the wrench. And Miss Scarlet is going to the hall. Plum Rope Hall. And Plum shows a card. Well, see, now I've already got ones in uh, Professor Plum's column, so I'm going to mark this with twos. just so I don't uh, confuse the possibilities in, in Professor Plum's hand. Okay. Eleven. All right. Good roll. So, um, I think in this situation, I will go to the study. It's a corner room, and also there's a possibility of eliminating some information in Colonel Mustard's hand. Uh, if, for example, Mrs. Peacock or Professor Plum has the study card, then I know that by extension that Colonel Mustard does not have that card, and I will learn that he has either the candlestick or Miss Scarlet. So here we go. Okay. Now as far as what I'm going to guess. Um, I think I would like to eliminate as much information as I can. So I'm going to guess um, Dr. Orchid with the rope. Uh, the reason for that is um, if I get shown the Dr. Orchid or the rope card, then I'll be learning some possibilities, possibly in Dr. Orchid's hand, or uh, in Professor Plum's hand. 
and Mrs. Peacock is going to show me a card. Dr. Orchid. Okay. So, we've learned now that Professor Plum that does not have the Dr. Orchid card, so I can take off the one here and then look in the column, look in this column to see if there's any ones. There's only one one, and that's for the billiard room. So we know for certain that he has the billiard room card. Now, please note, I haven't been shown the billiard room card, and yet, uh, by a logical process of elimination, I've deduced that Colonel Mus or sorry, Professor Plum has that card. I also need to take off the one for Dr. Orchid in Dr. Orchid's column. Now he has either the, so she has either the rope or the ballroom. Now, Peacock has Plum Wrench Library, and Dr. Orchid is going to show a card. Okay, so we know that she has either Professor Plum or the, well, she doesn't have the wrench. She could have the library, so. Actually, I see there's already ones in that column, so I am should mark this with twos. And I see that there is a two there uh, for Professor Plum in Professor Plum's column. So he has either the rope or the hall. Plum Wrench Library, he guesses. And Dr. Orchid has a card. Plum. She doesn't have the wrench. And here is Colonel Mustard. And... Roll the seven. Plum Wrench Conservatory. Dr. Orchid showed a card. Plum Wrench Conservatory. And Dr. Orchid rolled a six and is going to the hall. Plum rope hall. And Plum showed a card. Well, we know he doesn't have his own card. He could have the wrench, or he could have the rope, and he could have the hall. So I'm going to mark this with threes. And Miss Scarlet's turn. Heading towards the study, I think. Okay, it's my turn. Let's see what we get. Five. Oh. 
Well, I could go to the library and eliminate some information on Dr. Horkett's hand, but yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll go to the library. I have a feeling that if I was to guess the Professor Plum card, uh, that to uh, find out that indeed Dr. Ork does have it. So let's go to the library. And I like this combination here of Miss Scarlet and Candlestick, so. Hopefully, um, I'll find out that either Miss Peacock or Professor Plum has either Miss Scarlet or the Candlestick card, and then that, that will work in, uh, on eliminating some information in, in Colonel Mustard's hand. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, he's going to show me a card. Okay, he has the candlestick. It's also important that include to keep track of the green check marks uh, that everybody has. In a six-player game like this, everybody gets dealt three cards. So, uh, yes, as soon as you have three green check marks in anybody's column, you know by process of elimination that they don't have any of the other cards. So you can put red X's in all of the empty spaces. Let's do a quick check here. I see one for Professor Plum, uh, one for Mrs. Peacock, one for Colonel Mustard, and two for Mrs. Peacock. So, that's as far as we can go there. And Mrs. Peacock's turn, and she's going to the hall. Miss Scarlet with the dagger in the hall, and Plum showed a card. Well, he doesn't have the Miss Scarlet card. He could have the dagger, and he could have the hall. So let's mark this with fours. It's now looking more likely that he has the hall card. Green Wrench Library. Okay. And Miss Scarlet has a card. So let's mark this with uh, ones in her column. Green. Oh, she doesn't have the wrench. She could have the library. But now I see in Dr. Or Orchid's column uh, for, the <laughs> for the library card. <coughs> The library card, excuse me, that there was a two and a three there. So now, I look for twos and threes in Dr. Orchid's column, and I see, yeah, they're there right for the Professor Plum card. So she definitely has that card. Let's do a quick count. Check marks. Got one for Miss Peacock, one for Dr. Orchid, one for Colonel Mustard, two for Mrs. Peacock, one for P Professor Plum. That's it. Billiard room. Colonel Mustard suggested it was Mr. Green with the wrench in the billiard room, and Scarlet chose a card. Okay, so let's mark this with twos. 
green. Oh, it can't be the ranch, and it can't be the billiard room. Never mind that. We know that she just showed the Mr. Green card. And Dr. Orchid rolled a three, which is a terrible roll. And Miss Scarlet's turn. She rolled a seven. She's going to the lounge. Mr. Green with the rope in the lounge. And Professor Plum showed a card. Well, he doesn't have the Mr. Green card. He could have the rope. He could have the lounge. So I'm going to mark this with fives. And it's my turn. Nine. Let's see where we where we can go. Well, um, I think I will go to I think I will go to the conservatory. It is a corner room. Well, so it's the lounge. I think I'll go... I think I'll go to the lounge. It's a corner room, um, and then if I find out that Professor Blum does not have the lounge card, then I'll know absolutely 100% that he has the rope, and then that will also, in turn, eliminate some information for Dr. Orchid's hand. So, I'm going to guess along with that the dagger and now I'm 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 interested in in seeing what's in Professor Plum's hand, so I'm not gonna guess something that Mrs. Peacock could possibly have. So it's going to be Miss Scarlet with the dagger. And Plum is going to show me the lounge. Okay. So that's two cards I know for him. I was kind of hoping that he didn't have it. Um, but okay, that's, that's the way it is. Because if he didn't have the lounge card, then by logical extension, he would have had the rope. Orchid, wrench, study, and mustard show the card. Okay. Well, he doesn't have the Dr. Orchid card. He doesn't have the wrench. He must have the study. Once again, let's do a quick count. We've got one for Colonel Mustard, uh, two for Professor Plum. One for Mrs. Peacock, two for Mustard, 
one for Dr. Orchid, one for Miss Scarlet, and that's a second one for Mrs. Peacock. And Professor Plum is going to the study. Miss Scarlet with the wrench. And Colonel Mustard is going to show a card. So I'm going to mark this with... Actually, I'm not going to mark this. Uh, he has the study card. I don't find it useful to m mark down that he might have the Miss Scarlet card if I already know that he has the study. And he's going to the conservatory and guessing Dr. Orchid with lead pipe in the conservatory. And I have to show the lead pipe card. Actually, I'm going to mark, uh, make sure I take that off. Okay. Now, Mrs. Peacock showed either Dr. Orchid or Revolver Billiard Room. Well, we know that she has Dr. Orchid and the Revolver. And Miss Scarlet is in the study. Green Revolver study, and Peacock showed a card. Oh, we know that she has the revolver. Okay, so let's see where we can, where we can get to. Eight. Right. Let's take a look at the notes. I think I might go to I think I might go to the hall just to learn some more information about Professor Plum's hand. If I go to the hall and I find out that he doesn't have it, then I know for certain that he has the dagger. So I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Okay, so I'm in the hall, and for the weapon, I think I'll guess, guess Miss Scarlet. Oh, okay, for the weapon, I'll guess the dagger and uh, Miss Scarlet for the suspect. And he has the hall card. Okay. So, that's three cards I know for Professor Plum. So I can mark red X's in the rest of his column. And 
and I'll take off the two, the three, and the five here. So I'm down to two suspects, two weapons, and five rooms. Scarlet Wrench Library. And Scarlet showed a card. Okay, so we've learned some information about Colonel Mustard's hand here. I'm going to take off this one, then I'm going to look for other ones. Okay, so there's already one with a green check mark for the candlestick. And Professor Plum is going to the kitchen. Dr. Orchid with the wrench in the kitchen and okay so it's come to me I have to show the wrench Colonel Mustard is in the billiard room. Scarlet Revolver Billiard Room. And Scarlet showed a card. So, I'm going to mark this with twos. She has either Miss Scarlet, or she doesn't have the revolver, and she doesn't have the billiard room. So she must have Miss Scarlet. Which means, Mrs. Peacock is our murderer. I'm also going to do a quick count of the check marks here. I've got one for Colonel Mustard, three for Professor Plum, which I've already done red X's for, uh, one for Mrs. Peacock, two for Colonel Mustard, one for Dr. Orchid, one, two for Miss Scarlet, and two for Mrs. For Mrs. Peacock. Dr. Orchid's guess is Professor Plum with the lead pipe in the dining room. And I have to show the lead pipe card. Miss Scarlet is going to the ballroom and suggesting Professor Plum with the rope in the ballroom. Dr. Orchid is showing a card. And it's my turn. Six. Okay. Where am I going? I'm going to go I think I will go to the library. 
while the lounge and the study are not really all that helpful. And I'm going to suggest Mrs. Peacock with the rope. Uh, Mrs. Peacock, I'm going to guess because I, well, I know that's part of the solution. And uh, the rope card, well, if it turns out that uh, Dur Dr. Orchid has the rope card, then I'll know that the weapon is the dagger. And yeah, that's the only information I'll learn here. And Dr. Orchid is going to show me the rope. So I know for absolute certain that it was the dagger. And now I just have to find the room. Mrs. Peacock with the wrench and Plum showed a card because he has the hall. Mrs. Peacock with the rope in the dining room and Colonel Mustard showed a card. Okay, well, we know that he does not have the Mrs. Peacock card. We know he does not have the rope. He must have the dining room. So how many cards is that for him? That's two, three. So I can mark red X's in the rest of his column. And that's that. And Colonel Mustard guesses Miss Peacock with the candlestick in the library, and Scarlet shows guard. Well, we know that she does not have Miss Peacock with the candlestick, and we know that she. Well, we just learned that she has the library card. Now, how many cards does that make for her that we know? That's one two, three. So we can put red X's in the rest of her column. We know one, two of Dr. Orchids. We know one, two, three of Colonel Mustard's. We know three of Professor Plum's. And we know one, two of Miss Peacock's. Let's see here. There's only one other empty space for Dr. Orchid. So she must have the ballroom. Leaving only the conservatory in the kitchen. And we can't be certain what 
card Miss Peacock has. So hopefully I will be able to get to either the conservatory or the kitchen on the next turn here. Scarlet, dagger, kitchen. And Scarlet has a card. Well, we know that she has the Miss Scarlet card. And Miss Scarlet is guessing Mrs. Peacock with the wrench. And show the wrench card. Where am I at? Good, I can make it to the conservatory. That's where I'm going to go. And I'm going to suggest Mrs. Peacock with the dagger. And we just found out that she does not have the conservatory card. So just to wrap things up, we know for certain that she has the kitchen. And... We can make our final accusation. And we are going to accuse Mrs. Peacock of the dagger in the conservatory. Mrs. Peacock with the dagger in the conservatory. So we have solved the murder. Well done. So uh, just to recap the general points of strategy that I've made in this video. Um, first of all, make sure that you make notes of cards that other players possibly have. For example, uh, if Miss Peacock guesses Professor Plum with the wrench in the library and Mr. Green shows a card, keep track of that. So that you, if you find out later that Mr. Green does not have either the ranch or the library card, you know exactly what card he does have. Uh, keep in mind also the number of cards that uh, you've learned other players have. Uh, as I mentioned before, in a six-player game, each player has three cards. So when you've learned somebody's three cards, you know by logical extension, they don't have any of the other cards. Um... Corner rooms are good rooms to make suggestions in, uh, as it's certain that you will also be able to make a suggestion on the next turn. And uh, a final point of uh, strategy is that if you must show a card to another player, but you have a choice for which card to show, uh, show weapons over suspects in rooms, and show suspects over rooms. At any rate, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the thumbs up, uh, please comment, uh, please hit, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all of my latest updates. Until next time, happy gaming!